Well, for, for us today, it's, it's, just a, it's a massive game for us because we're top of the league, um, desperate for the three points within a team who have just come down from the Premier Division, who had some good results last season, beating teams like Sheldon. So we know this is going to be another one where we can gauge where we're at. Like next next Friday when we play West Lock, who came down as well, uh, and we can see where the teams are. And I think was like the expectation would be for us would be to win the game. I think we started off really well. I think it was a little bit of disappointment with the draw on Saturday, even though heaven will be there thereabouts. Um, they've got a good side together and I think they'll get stronger as the season gets on but I think for us it's got to be three points in at all and it was a little bit of a, a place early doors last year where we couldn't get it, we couldn't win games so it's it's a really interesting one but we've done okay so far so you know I think it's what 17 goals I get a phone against uh, all told so you know what went it in uh, team news uh, Danny Sayers come back in the squad he's been away for a week so hopefully yeah he's, had, he's caught up in his sleep uh, he's coming in at left back, uh, Kyle Oliver's going in at right back. Um, Matty Tumulty sustained an injury on Saturday, he's got, he's got back spasm, so he comes out. Uh, and Zach Atkinson's dropped out of the squad, and uh, Gillespie, uh, who was away at the weekend, he's come back in. So we've got a little bit more of a balanced um, bench. We had a lot of forwards on the bench on Saturday, and it was a little bit too much. But I think when you're back in Blythe, you're back with. with with your own people and hopefully we want to get a decent crowd tonight and uh, make them, hopefully we we'll make a little bit of noise and you know and it's about what we do I think there's a lot of expectations for us at home to start pulling off results you know you got Black Spartan scoring goals galore and it took us to start entertaining week in week out so we can start getting the crowds in so yeah it's good it's very important uh, like I said before we played a lot of games early in early doors when we struggled to score um, so this is the what but we haven't this season which has been a great thing so fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll do okay I think. this week as well. Union Taxis of Blythe. Hello Karen if you're listening, which I think you are. And all the other guys who sponsor either a player, a ball, match. We knock into this game. There's Chesley Street back on the attack. Uh, down goes Josh Day on the back of Kippers. Um, nothing, no malice in it. Everybody shall remain friends, I should imagine. But we're sort of like just over the halfway line into Blythe's half. It is Ben Richardson who plays the ball forward to Bully Bulford. Chesley Street closed by down though. Uh, well, I think it was a wishful thinking ball from Chesley Street. Easily defended by Stephen Little. And it's back with the Chris Bond with a nice pink top tonight. And so far, openings have been relaxed. No rushing about. It's not a million mile an hour. In fact, it's been a while since Brian started that way. 0-0 is the score, 7 minutes left. So far, openings, be relaxed, no rushing about. It's not a million mile an hour, in fact it's been a while since Brian started that way. 0-0 is the score, 7 minutes of the game played, and it's with Robinson on the halfway line. That's ball through from Bly, this could be interesting, it is interesting. Ryan McCorrigan, oh, it comes the ball, out comes the ball, Jetty. Down on the key side from Blythe, so on to the IS group, Steve Madison, thanks for getting involved. Ball's back in play, that's ball into the box, defended well by by Chesley Street. Oh, took off him and the shot comes, so summoned over to the linesman at the minute. He's obviously seen something. Um, can you tell anybody what he's trying to go to deeper back? I think they do with the... Well, as the referee walks over to it's Daniel Jackson who's having a word with um, one of the Chesterley Street management team and pushing up, trying to push forward Blythe, AFC, here for Chester McCorrigan. McCorrigan plays it in, nobody in the middle. It's defended and had to be defended off the line. On the left hand side as we look at it, Blythe go into defensive mode. That's going to be a goal in now. Daniel Madison made a right fluff of that. This could still go on the back of the net, you know. And it is Blythe on the attack, but again cut out from Chester. Uh, Blythe played the ball through. 
and it comes off the feet of Saya. Oh, Saya's going to go, I thought he was going to go one on one with the keeper there. He did, he plays it there to Taylor. Taylor on the edge of the box. Bob Stephen plays a lovely ball in, but Chester were forced to defend. Could Chester defend it? Uh, Stevenson, the shouts of man on, bad ball from Stevenson. Not made by Taylor. Taylor, you know, he's not having a bad game really, but he's trying to go to support. Goes to Robinson. Says wrong. The goalkeeper pronounced of Jack Wilson, you go for them. Referee blows the whistle, and here we go into the second half. And I tell you what, Lenny, I hope Mick Connor, Andy Bowman, has put.